What's the first thing you notice about another person when you meet them for the first time? Sure, there are a lot of surveys out there detailing what people first notice about someone they find attractive. Hair, eyes, smile, teeth. But what about the cashier at the local coffee bar or a new coworker? Now you probably don't focus on one specific feature. You take a broader mental picture of what they look like and then you focus on the person's face. So for anyone looking to make a great first impression, it's important to have clear and luminous skin, clean teeth, and a happy, positive attitude. And if you need help with any of those things, you're going to want to turn to an esthetician, someone who specializes in facial beauty and maintenance. Aesthetics actually incorporates um, camouflage makeup, makeup waxing, skin care. I specialize in skin care. I'm also certified in laser hair removal, laser tattoo removal, spider vein removal, um, pigmented lesions, microdermabrasion, chemical peels, and rosacea therapy. They come to me for any anti-age treatments, any treatments, uh, problems with acne, acneic skin, um, rosacea sensitive skins, just basic preventative maintenance care. You know, I take care of the largest organ of the body, which is the skin, and tell people how to maintain to keep it looking beautiful, young, fresh, and if there's anything further, I refer them to a dermatologist. Hmm, sounds like a trip to the spa to me. Facials and waxing and chemical peels. Well, it is spa-like. There's usually calming music and pleasing smells, and afterwards you feel like you've been pampered like a princess, giving you that positive attitude I mentioned. But an esthetician does more than that. They incorporate what's called a root cause analysis in their treatments, inspecting the quality of your skin and pinpointing the source of any problems, which, and this may surprise you, are often internal. A lot of the problems that people have with their skin come from their diet, from daily stress, or from hormonal changes. After the analysis, the esthetician can instruct you on lifestyle modifications in order to maintain that post-facial glow. I do a deep tissue analysis so I can kind of see what's happening below the first layer of the skin so I can kind of tell and then I kind of talk to them about, you know, what they're coming to me for and then I can just pinpoint from what I know. If it's anything more than that, I would have to refer them to a dermatologist. One thing that I learned is, for example, um, we hold a lot of stress um, in, in our body, especially in the digestive area. We hold a lot of toxins and things in our small intestines and it actually doesn't get flushed out right. We are not eating the right foods. So it actually sits there and the only way for it to come out is through the skin because our skin detoxifies. So you're, you actually breathe through your skin. So a lot of people will start to get the sag, they'll start to get acne, they'll start to get different um, problems with their skin based on their diet, um, eating the wrong things, not taking enough nutrients, minerals, vitamins. So it's just a matter of you know really keeping yourself healthy and then it really reflects in your skin. An esthetician is one of the best sources for advice about keeping a fresh face with youthful skin, especially if you're looking for tips about your individual skin type. For everyone, we can offer four simple habits you can incorporate today for healthy skin. One, protect yourself from the sun, which can age the skin and cause wrinkles. Two, don't smoke, which causes yellowing of the skin and also wrinkles around the mouth and the eyes. Three, wash your skin gently with soothing soaps that don't strip the skin because harsh treatment will wear it out. And four, apply moisturizer regularly to keep the skin bright and moist. And after you do all that, you'll be more than prepared to make a good impression on the next new person you meet. I'm Dr. Keller Wortham and you're watching the eHealth Network. We'll see you next time.